Okay. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the first VOD review of your game. You guys crushed the early game, but didn't have a way to end the game fast enough. So the enemy scaled up. Yeah, you guys had to win a little KMT fight to close out the game. Jarvin, yeah, Caitlin, Italy, Kench, pretty good split pushing comp. You can four man bot pretty easily. Skirmishes are really good for you guys. You don't want to take drawn out team fights versus Singe, Gragas, Victor, Mami. <clears throat> okay, so both are on the side bot side. Okay, I can I'll talk about mining later. But. Okay, Victor takes a bad trade, good counter trade. Okay, Brian finished cleaning about quadrant. Expect enemy jungler. It's Gragas. I don't think Drag Gragas is a full clear. Wants to gank early, so expect Gragas to be doing blue right now. Just starting blue. Should see a word coming out soon. Okay. Here, because Brian's low and he's going to have to recall it anyway, I'd like to see Jafar just go for an aggressive trade here um, and then sh quickly shove the minion wave before Gragas gets a chance to gank it. Because the way it's slow pushing right now, it'd be really obnoxious if Gragas chooses to rank gank. And sure enough, there's a Gragas ping. So yeah, there he is. Luckily, Brian's there. It's kind of low, but... Damage though. Good job. That was a good counter gang. Really good job. Alright. So now Sinj is screwed. Top lane's done. You have complete top side control. So at this point, when you get top side control like that, Sinj can't contest anymore. And Nidalee will always be able to outduel Gragas, so you should have, especially since Victor has poor wave clear, fuck, okay, especially since Victor has poor wave clear early pre um, hex core upgrade, and that takes 1350 gold, that's usually around the 5-6 minute mark for Victor, but he's not even CSing perfectly, so I'll be even later then, I'll be more like 7 minutes for him. Uh, Chris should try to permish of the wave so that Victor doesn't have room priority. And then you can just deep ward top side and then continue to camp it when you have a flashless top laner. It's pretty easy with Jarvan to kill him. Can't get out of Jarvan ulti. Uh... Yeah, so there's some top side control. Good job. For gank mid, I like this. Nice, good job. Nice, good job. Clean gank. All right, and assist shove. Good. Okay, good, good, good. That's all good. So this is really good right here, you guys. Great start. Perfect. Things are alright so far. My lane's not doing too hot, but it's okay. Should not trade in a huge mini wave. My are gonna fuck you up. Should just poke a Q like that, yeah.
There you could have EQ'd Jafar and he would have taken a turret shot because his poison would have ticked on you. And he would have had the armor shred and because he's knocked up, he has to just run away so he could get two more autos and he could have killed him. Okay, Greg's now bot side. So, runs intercepting. It's fine. Good screen by Chris to come over and help him out. Get disengaged. Yeah, in this case, like spamming with red card would spamming red card would be much more efficient, and clear, and then spamming Q over and over. Oh shit, that flash body slam. Okay. Nice, good job. And you got Victor's ulti out of it. That's good. It's really good. Should be able to just keep ganking mid. Okay, so. Forest, ulti, spot lane, hasn't yet to go recall, so it's pretty squishy. I'd like to see Cindy walk up and put a ward here, just so that Jafar has a decent TP spot, or Cindy could have warded here, and then Imran could have just walked around, and then put in a ward over here so that if they ever shove up past this line right here then you can just TP gank and kill them between Caitlyn and uh, Kench it's pretty hard for them to do anything besides just insta flashing but hmm. and especially if you combine that with TF since TF has show priority over Victor you use 4 man bot or 5 man bot and they can't do anything Uh, whatever. So at this point, it does. There's like no benefit to staying in to laning versus Victor at all. So you just want to shove as much as possible. Cause there's a free singe kill top side. You should. You should just be able to shove since you're completely free of wards. Ulti top side. I'm assuming. No, 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 ulti top side is the best time to ult if you're gonna ult now. I guess that was worded. That's a blue ping on you. Okay, kind of runs away. Okay. Fine. Try to use red card more. Good aggression by Brian, getting some more deep vision in. The, the thing is, he can't do much unless the lane's already shoved. Okay, Chris is going for a play. Nice. Should be free. Okay, I don't know why he used both his ghosts, but good job. Okay, good job. And you got a counter drum in too. Okay, good. Uh. Still a bit slow, could be a bit faster. Okay, this is where you have the chance to blow the game wide open, right? Because, um, why does the scoreboard keep disappearing? Okay. So, bot lane has yet to back. Jafar is recalling now, I'm assuming bot lane's gonna back right now, right? There it is, okay. You have two simultaneous recalls happening. So what you can do is you can send bot lane to top because Sinish TP'd. So he's already he's already committing that resource to go and teleport, right? So he's TPing. You can just have Jafar go bot lane and then bot lane go top lane. And then you can just three-man dive the Singe. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because he has no ulti, he has no ghost anymore. You have Tom Cash, so he can eat whoever dives the or whoever's like taking turret initially. So and if need be, you can always have Jafar just TPN to, to orchestrate the dive. 
Because at that point, if they try to trade turret and dragon for the top turret, they won't be able to do both fast enough, and then you can just keep pushing it, and they'll be forced to base race. And they don't want to trade that, because you'll already be ahead in the push. So. Anyway. Yeah, Imran should have recalled here because he, there's nothing. Nothing is good from happening him from him just being in lane by himself because he could have gone back, gotten sightstone sweeper, and then already set been walking back to set up bot lane vision or go top with Caitlyn, make a three man top lane. Anyway, missed opportunity. So now TF recalls as well. So you guys need to be very cautious on the map because you don't. Have, any, any vision on anyone, so that's fine. Good. Got Scuttle Crab. I would have liked to see the red being foregone and then Italy running straight top. You know, he doesn't have any wards because he just TP'd the lane, so he's not going to have any wards. Okay. Oh, still stayed. Good job. Good punish. Uh, they should trade with Dragon if they're in position, but Nami was just recalling, so looks like they weren't unable to do that. At this point, you should have went for top lane turret, be because if you go for top lane turret, Gragas is forced to come top to help cover, and if he goes top to help cover, then TF can just shove mid and TP bot and get a gank off. But this is fine as well. This, this is a bit safer play. Okay. Okay, bot lane's playing up. Okay, mid lane should be dead. Why didn't he die here? So Brian's coming down. Okay. W is up. You can pull a gold card and just flash stun him. I think we would have to blow about the summoners to escape at that point. But right, now the fight's gonna happen for sure. Uh, it's actually fine. I mean, it's a pretty split up fight, and you guys will win the two v two if you guys manage to burst down Gragas. But yeah, it's interesting to have TP, so it's fine. This is good. This is a good word. Smoke on him. Uh, I don't. I don't like that EQ because Nami was already gonna have to fight both the Caitlyn and the Kench to survive. So you should have just walked up to her and autoed over and over until she was forced to flash, and then you could have just followed with ulti. Or you could have just flash wallet with ulti. Or you could have just focused the gin also, which would have also she would have been able to come up maybe. But he had flash to so hold it up, but he would have flashed. But that's fine. Good. Good good collapse, good collapse. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna give up top damage for this, but it's fine. You should be able to get dragon and bot turret. Hmm. Okay, at this point, I would have liked to see Chris. Eh, holding your ulti is fine, actually. It's not worth it. Top trade is not relevant to how this game is going to go anyway. It's literally worthless. Actually, losing top trade is pretty advantageous. Okay, well, ball is shoved. Back.
Yeah, here, yeah, I would, I would have liked to see bot lane rotate top here, just, just so you can get pressure. Actually, have bot lane rotate mid, Jafar rotate bot, and have Chris top. And the reason I say that is because you want now that Dragon's off the map, you want pressure on Harold so that you can get that because Harold's like an instant get turret card. You can use that with bot lane mid already, and Caitlyn having traps to just get mid turret for free. Not that this is like bad, but it's not. It's it's not ideal. It's just slow. They can the game goes slower than it used to be. Plus, if the, if you rotate bot to mid, Victor can't wave clear barrel versus that. Lest he gets turret dive by TF ult in Italy. Feast just stays alone, so they'll have to spend extra resources getting to him. And then if they do spend Nami over there. Or and send Gragas over there, then you can just use TFL to port bot with J4. CP's coming up soon. You can just get bot turret instead. Because it's not like they can push against Caitlyn Kench anyway. Their engage isn't good enough. Kench can just flash eat. There's nothing they can do. Okay, this is a good force. This is a good force. So, I like this. I'm shocked that he committed to this. Nice. Good job. Okay, you just rotate mid. Here, there is no reason at all to go bot to get the turret. You can just rotate mid and get the turret for free. Or if you want, you can just... And as you, as you go do that, you can just set up vision in their jungle. And then if they walk through, then they get picked off. Because you know everyone's bot. There's nowhere else that they are. So you can just walk mid. I guess they'll just give it up anyway. Like, this is just a risk that you don't really need to take. So. Only go for kills if you're going, trying to get an objective for it. Like, look, now, now you just, you guys just wasted time and you got pushed off the turret. <clears throat> So yeah, in situations like that, when it's a 3v4, the turret is basically two people this early in the game. So if it's a 3v4, then you guys should just rotate to another lane and get the turret instead. Um, and you could have chained that turret. You would have already it would have already given you like vision control, but you would also be able to chain it to Herald Vision. So good blue steel. Good blue steel. Um, we can get items right now. Yeah, the builds are fine. I like that Brian's going Roa. He's already fed enough that he doesn't really need to get a bunch of like burst damage to Lich Pain or something. He's just gonna. He just needs to be able to survive so he doesn't get one shot. Yeah. Syria boots are okay, I guess, in this situation. But I don't really know why you'd need CDR boots, particularly. Caitlyn's already pretty long range, and eh. I, the amount of times you need to flash eat someone, I guess. This is fine. Uh, okay. That's why the game's still mating, so what you guys need to do is you need to force a pick. Unfortunately, they keep clearing your vision, right? So, where are all the words going? There's one there. One here. You don't need a word. Like, wording here is just a waste when you have um, lane control already. So don't, don't word in those bushes when you have lane control, because you already know what's in there. You, you're already walking in that area. 
So instead of what you should do is should ward here and then fight for control over this bush. And now that this is an open like lane, there's no mid turret, Chris Chris can also help deep ward the raptors area and above red pit. Um and Jafar should be as well. Like he should be buying a control ward and then whenever he just shoves in the wave, he should go in and then go clear whatever plants there may be, drop a ward, and then once you guys see someone walk over a ward, like you should just have Brian hover bot so when someone walks over a ward, you can just pick them with TF ulti. This um, so what makes TF so powerful. Five man bot, okay, that's fine. You guys wanna get the outer turret, that's okay. Uh, committing this many resources is, uh, you don't know where Gragas is and Singe has TP, so. That's that's all right, but at this point, yeah, good. Going for her own. Yeah, that was a pretty greedy Tom Kenshaw. But it'll be up in a few seconds, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Is really forced. Okay, I don't. I don't know what. I mean, she she doesn't have flash anymore, so that's nice. But oh, you guys didn't need to do that then, because now you don't have flash to actually get to the back line anymore. Uh, okay, second ocean. That's really good. Out of this point, you guys have second ocean, so your regen is insane. You can just pretty much see drop, and there's not really much they can do about it. Uh, so yeah, you can just five man here. Okay, good. Good pick on Victor. Okay. Okay, good. Group up. Harold's also fine. You can just send two to push. To be honest, um, Cindy, I didn't, I didn't see you doing this much, but whenever you're, you're sieging a lane for control over a neutral, you should set up a trap line, either here so that they can't engage on you while you're pushing, or you should go to the objective with the rest of your team and then, in round two, and then you got, you should trap here, and then trap here so that they can't walk in, without taking a bunch of poke. Uh, okay, they're not even going to contest, I guess. At this point, Gragas should have, like, as soon as he just walked up there, you should have just Tom Kench ulted on him and then blown his, uh, blown his sums. Because TF has ulti too, so he can join instantly. Everyone could have just joined instantly and killed this guy. He's, like, he's already, he's already out of position. You could have just TF ulted to check and then just port on him and kill him. With Tom Kench and TF. That'll give you a bit of extra gold. It wouldn't have given you too much more map pressure, but money in your pockets is never a bad thing. All right. At this point, you can you guys can just you guys maybe can just use Harold, so you can just siege a turret. Red lane's probably the best one because at this point, Singe is gonna slowly become too tanky for Jarvan to actually kill. So there's no point in pushing bot lane. It won't yield you any map pressure. You need to get either top lane down or bot lane or mid lane down so that you can actually threaten and hip turret and force them to stay. Inside their base. Okay, four man siege. Uh, actually, yeah, slow pusher is fine because TF can instantly join anyways. Um, so this is pretty standard like siege, just set up Caitlyn traps and then, and then just siege. I yeah, and the reason why I didn't I don't like the herald that early is. 
that wave is just gonna get insta cleared by Victor if you don't have traps set up. So now the Herald's just gonna crash on the turret and then you won't be able to actually walk be able to walk up. So yeah, Cindy, like you it's you you have to set those traps up. It's it's actually losing so much pressure. Cause if you don't if you don't set up those traps, Victor was able to walk up like he just did and clear that wave. Gragas is able to walk here and threaten and engage. It's so much zoning, it's actually like ridiculous. How OP those traps are. It's nasty. Um okay, at this point, the Herald's expired, but but you guys have Flash, Jarvan, Ulti, and they're all grouped up, so you guys should just engage on them. Like the turret, the turret's so low anyway. They're just they're just staying basically for no reason. Like right here, right here. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good. Okay, so Jin should be ported on, and or Nami should be ported on and killed. Uh, I guess TF got interrupted by Gragas. Unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. Good job. Could have gone a bit earlier, but it's okay. This is this is all like unnecessary. You guys, after you guys got that turret, you guys should just sweep red side jungle and then reset. Because the wave's not in a place where you can actually get the turret. So this is just all extra. It's wasting time, pretty much. That you could have been using to recall. Like, everyone who's not Brian should have just recalled. Because no one else needs to be out right now. Everyone should go shop. Unless you can get this, too. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I didn't think the wave would get there in time. My bad. Yeah, that's fine. You're good. Okay, recall, reset for mid. Then get Baron Vision. Have Jafar head bot. Gonna have TF split push top and then keep three men mid and just siege the turret with Nidalee, Caitlyn. Oh, that's unlucky. That was a greedy recall. Good dodge, good dodge. Okay. Okay, good. Honestly, at that point, with four people bot lane, you could have just rushed Baron, and they wouldn't be able to stop you, so you should have just went to Baron. Okay. Uh, it's fine. The issue is, like, you, yeah, okay, picking Nami is, like, okay, but she, Nami's not gonna be, like, what stops you guys from being able to break this turret, this turret line. It's gonna be Victor and Jin that's doing that, and if you guys don't kill either of them, and you spend so many resources on them, like, TF Vault is a big split push tool that you wanna only spend if you're gonna kill a priority target. If you're not gonna kill a priority target, then there's no point because then you're gonna have to wait until it's back up again. I'm sure, you have forty percent CDR. It's gonna be back up soon, but like, you're gonna see in a bit. Victor will just either wave, and then you can't do anything unless you hard engage. I mean, you have flash actually, so you should be able to hard engage on them. Okay, at this point, you got to pick, so you don't need to split push anymore. Wait, Victor's bot actually. You can just shove mid in. And there's nothing they can do about it. Alright, this game's over. Let's get in. Just group top. Or group mid, rather. Get in hib. Okay, just get in hib. Get in hib. Get in hib. Get in hib. Okay. Not necessary. Not necessary. That could have happened five seconds faster and this engage wouldn't have happened. Good night, 
good sir. Okay. Well, you got to inhibit at least, so it's something. This is unnecessary. As soon as you get the inhib, just recall you. Like, this spear is a waste of time. You could already be backing and in base and out 15 seconds earlier. Those 15 seconds you could use to get dragon vision, you could use to get. Just set up the map so that when everyone respawns, you'll be good to go. It's all about efficiency. Don't waste time. In this game it didn't matter, but in other games it may matter. As far as CPs, that's fine for him to go top. Doesn't matter. I should just be rushing dragon. Okay, at this point, at this point, because TF's TP channel is faster, you want to have TF split push top also because he kills shards faster, but you want to have TF split push top and then have Jafar mid continuously shoving in the wave, and then you want to have um, bot lane, the three others in bot lane so they can siege that turret. Um, and Jafar, you want to go stone fight after you get titanic hydra because it scales off total hp so the item gets more value the more hp you have uh, okay good triple ocean so you guys can basically just stay on the map forever you won't ever need to back with triple ocean it's just so much region it's ridiculous hovering on mid is not gonna get you anything so you guys need you guys need to either force a fight when they're overextended like this like when he's like this you, you should just go for it because you you should have a splash time so you should just go for the fight and have tf port and burst them down because victor's dead he can't they can't do anything that's it yeah i think be be a bit more willing to engage especially when you're this far ahead because they don't have the damage to be able to burst you down No, that's bare. Okay, Victor back, so that's fine. You should be able to get chain this into top turret. Okay, nice. 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 Jin should be dead. Okay, he flashed for it. That's fine. This chase is unnecessary, you just go for the turret. Good. With triple ocean, you guys have the regen, so you guys should just wait a little bit and let it heal you up. Caitlyn should not recall, okay? Or TF should not recall, rather. Just let it heal you. There needs to be a trap line here. There. There needs to be more traps. Like, you're losing so much sieging power by not having traps there. So, Cindy, you gotta put those traps down. Um, I should be able to go throw it off that push. Yeah, th <sighs> this game is just going much too slow. I'm going to respawn in two minutes, I think. Mm. Who's going bot? Why are two people going bot? Okay. Also, Titanic has like a lot of bursts, so. I don't know, that really helps.
Mm, this is alright. Oh, you pulled a blue card, that's why I rip. Okay. Yeah, I don't like to see a static ship here. Uh, such a fiesta. Like, all this stuff is completely unnecessary. Like, instead of going top to go, go save Chris, you should have just Tom Kench ulted bot lane so you can get the inhib. Because the inhib, getting the kill on Victor may guarantee you an inhib, but teleporting bot would definitely guarantee you an inhib. So the high percentage play is what you want to take. Because now, now, like, you're stuck in this situation where it's like, oh, I might... I could have. Got, I may or may not have gotten victor if you actually TP. So, it's gonna be nice on out and. Now we're back to score one, right? Like having no, at least you have an inhib two inhib turrets this time, so you don't need to go through the trouble of sieging the turret. But you still need to actually be able to get damage on the inhib, and you don't want a team five versus this team, so you want to split push. But the inhibs that are open are mid and bot, which are right next to each other, so it's really easy for them to move as a group and rotate between the two turrets. My creep block though. Whew. Gonna let me some creep block. So Splitfish is fine, you wanna get the top turret. Victor doesn't have exhaust this time, so it should be pretty easy for you to one v one him. So why does this colored bird keep disappearing? Holy moly. Okay. <clears throat> I would have also liked to see um Rod of Ages from here on Chris. I'd like to see Roa, Banshees, and uh, Lich Vein. The Zanya is, is nice, but the, you just at this point, your team isn't lacking any damage with the Nidalee jungle and a drive in top. You just want to get be like as healthy as possible so you don't get burst down in a team fight. So you can keep contributing stuns. And, okay. Blues up. I'm gonna steal that. Nidalee should take it, yep. Okay, run back down to mid. I think Abyssal Mask is a bit too little. Could have just gone roll, I think. We're fine. Okay, let's see what happened top. You're so squishy with this build. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's a 4v5, so they can engage for free, because without TF, you guys aren't going to win the team fight. Good eat. Missing everything. You guys just have to turn around. Here, Jafar should have just sacked himself so that. These these two could live, uh, because having Nidalee and Kenchop is really important, so you can counter their siege. Well, one of them lived at least. Ah, eh, this is not too bad either. It's still something. You just give up this turret. Be fine. Okay, there we go, Mountain. Yeah, you guys are like already seeing, like, the later this, like, Victor's, like, really farmed, actually, so the longer this goes on, the harder it's gonna be. Especially where Chris can't duel, so... What you could do instead, also, is you could always have, uh, 
Jafar shadowing Chris so that if Victor does show up, you can just Jarvan combo him and kill him, and then there's nothing they can do. Because if Victor dies, their team comp just falls apart. They don't have anything else to deal with this with a siege, so. Feels bad when you're still push and you're getting countered by one champion. But, yeah. Yeah, at this point, like, I think I remember the rest of the game. Like, the same, the same thing happens over and over where people just split push and then eventually there's, like, you guys win a team fight at the end and manage to win the game. But until then, you guys just lose a bunch of team fights in a row and a Baron, too, I think. Just because you guys got, a, like, a team fought. You know, the right comp for that, so... Um, this again. Yeah, that's the third time. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... What I have to say for this game is, like... Item builds or whatever, like... That can be fixed later. They can be... It's, like, small. It didn't affect the game too much, but... Cindy, you need to put out more traps. Like, a lot more when you're sieging. Just use all five traps when you're sieging. That's so much zoning. That really helps you siege. Um... Chris, I'd like to see a tankier build from you this game, just because you don't your team's not your team comp's not lacking damage. If it was like like Gragas top, like Sejuani jungle or something, or like Zach jungle, then I could understand because you guys need the damage in that case. But it's not, so you don't need to go full DPS. Um, and then early game was not bad. It could have like it was all right. It could have been a lot better. There was a lot of missed opportunities for extra aggression that could have sped the game up even more to give you guys an even bigger gold lead that might have mitigated these like late game poor like poor late game macro but those weren't those weren't implemented but it's not like the decisions you guys made were like terrible but they weren't optimal we always want to go for the optimal decision um and yeah i was always like as i was talking about like resource allocation like on enemies, resource allocation on enemies, like you don't want to expend TFLT and Jarvan ulti. I don't think he Jarvan ulti that time, but you don't want to like expend any resources on non priority targets. Like if it's not like in this case, if it's not Victor or Jin, then you shouldn't expend resources like excessive resources. Um, if you can chain getting one pick into multiple because like if you kill the Nobby and actually made use of the fact that she was dead and they had no exhaust or no defensive CC like less defensive CC to just hard engage on them then it would have been fine it would have like made up for it but that didn't happen so uh yeah um I don't think there's anything else that game out of I think I would have liked to see more usage when you have two globals, I guess three if you count teleport as a summer soul, but when you have three globals, I would like to see a lot more rotating around the map because you guys have a lot more potential to go anywhere and change your location on the map at any time quickly. So you guys can make a lot more rotational plays to chain objectives that weren't otherwise previously possible. Um, <clears throat> so like after fighting in their bot lane jungle like you guys just all hovered bot and waited for them to all funnel out instead of just rotating mid and then chaining that into herald and then recalling early and then coming back bot lane or something with full hp full mana and then five manning the turret and then sending herald in another lane or something you guys could have done that <clears throat> but yeah uh that's pretty much it for me for this game so